What's going on YouTube? My name is Bluey, and today I got a real good topic Secure for you the guys. Real good one. Secure it's a. the same old Enemy question, same old, same old that everyone has been down. cycling over YouTube and in message boards and in other Boys, chat things on the internet. You know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that other good Shoot. shit. Basically, the question. The age old question when it comes to the Call of Duty community. Is Call of Duty dying? Has it reached its peak? Is it in is it in its prime or is it on a mass decline? And can it be saved? And what can save it? Now I on the other hand, I have a very strong opinion about this topic because well Call of Duty was just in the X games. So, as far as it being a franchise and everything, I don't think it's dying at all. I think it's on a mass incline because it's going to get to the point where Call of Duty pro players are going to become actual athletes. Seriously, they're going to get their own jersey with their own number and official teams. And it's going to be in, okay, they already have like tournaments and stuff. And it's kind of tele, but it's gonna be like on a major network televised. It's, it's gonna be like the Call of Duty Championships. Check it out on blah blah blah, you know, TV or whatever. Or it may just be with the X Games from here on out. You never know. You know, Activision is making a lot of money off of Call of Duty right now. And yeah, and see with that, I don't think it's, I don't think, I don't think it's dying at all. Let alone that, I don't think another game can even kill it. You know, they could call it Titanfall, the COD killer. No. Titanfall killed itself. It, it was too overhyped. You can't even compare Battlefield to Call of Duty. I mean, Battlefield is its own genre of a first-person shooter, seriously. And Halo is Xbox. When, first, when Call of Duty really started getting popular, it was Call of Duty versus Halo. Then it was Call of Duty versus Battlefield. Then it was Call of Duty versus Titanfall. It's like, it's like Call of Duty is knocking motherfuckers out. Like, bang, 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 you know. It's like Call of Duty is the number one contender for first-person shooters. No one can fuck with it. No matter how much the community complains about it, it will always stay on top. Always. But it is on. it is kind of on a decline. When I say that, people are like, fuck Call of Duty this year. Seriously, they are. I mean, Ghost put a very bad taste in the community's mouth. A very bad taste. They're like, "What the fuck?" And then they're gonna release. Then they're gonna release DLC right behind it, and it's bullshit DLC. You know, no one cares about that cheesy celebrity DLC they got going on. We don't want celebrities. We want basic Call of Duty mechanics. You know, so you know that put a bad taste in people's mouth, and it. It's still there. I mean, his mind is still there. I gotta brush my teeth like five times a day just to get that Call of Duty go in my mouth. <laughs> but um, other than that, no, it's. I don't think it's on a decline. Now, if it is on a decline, because I know some people are going to disagree with me, if it is on a decline, can it be saved? Now I'm gonna answer that question. It can be saved, and how? Let me tell you how. If Advanced Warfare is shit, poop, fuckery, um, ass. If it's all of that, if it's just a sucky ass Call of Duty game, Call of Duty, it will drop. That's going to be the second time in a row that they pissed off the fans or they just turned them off. You can't do that to the community and expect to be hitting record-breaking numbers. No, you can't do that. You cannot do that, all right? Activision, you can't do that. Now, let me get to my answer. The only company that can save Call of Duty if Advanced Warfare is so terrible, it is Treyarch. That's right, the people who made the Black Ops series and the creators of Zombies. That is the only way. I'm telling you, when Treyarch make Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or the next um, whatever Treyarch game make, they are going to include zombies. And I'm telling you, everyone who's hanging on 
to um, Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Black Ops, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, when the next Treyarch game comes out, you're going to have fans coming out of the fucking woodwork. That's going to be new record-breaking numbers. All of the multiplayer fans and you got zombie fans. And then you got some fans who do like campaign. But seriously, they are going to save Call of Duty. After that, then Call of Duty is done. I mean, seriously. After the next Treyarch game, Call of Duty is done. There's, there's nothing they can do. In my opinion. I'm not buying Ghost 2. <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost 2? No. Ghost 2. I mean, I'm kind of ahead. I'm like three years ahead of time, but I ain't finna buy no Call of Duty Ghost 2. But, you know, you guys tell me what you think. Is COD dying? You know, and if it is, you know, how can we save it? Or how can not we, but how can they save it? Um, leave your comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that other good jazz. And I'll see you guys in my future videos.